What's up, guys? John here. I'm Sharice. And we are back with another Cupid's Corner. Thank you guys for joining us. We really appreciate you guys tuning in every week or all the time to Cupid's Corner and listen to me and Sharice try to help you guys out with tips, tricks, and things that we possibly went through to maybe help you guys enhance your relationship, better things in your relationship, or maybe even take things up a notch uh, in the bedroom. So at that point, we always come up with different topics every week. Um, and these topics have affected us personally in most cases. Some haven't and stuff that I guess we've seen. Mm -hmm. um, but at that point, this one hits home. And <laughs> literally speaking. <laughs> literally speaking. That's good. I like that. So uh, this hits home. Now, you guys might be faced with this now. You guys might be faced with this later. Or you might never and just luck out. Who knows? But this one has to deal with your in-laws and that means mm. your in-laws moving in or you taking care of your in-laws or whatever it may be it could even be just your parents when them get old or having them move in with your relationship mm. right mm -hmm. so it doesn't necessarily have to be an in-law it could be your dad or mom that could be in the house around you guys all the time mm -hmm. oh all gosh the time. and that's fun let me tell you about <laughs> it so, you know, my dad's, you know, health is, is, you know, a little unstable and stuff like that. So my dad's lived with us for at least... Forever. Forever. Yeah. Uh, Let's not so, even put it, yeah, it's been forever. So, <laughs> you know, luckily, we, we've got a pretty decent size house where we've got things separated and he's on one side and we're on the other side because it can get, you know, a, a little, you know, embarrassing, I guess, or tense at the same time. Uh, and this could be for a number of different things. Uh, you know, you might disagree on something and they're in that space or mm -hmm. something's just irritating you and you're in that space or you're trying to have fun time and you don't want to be loud. Now, if you got kids, you're already probably going through this <laughs> just depending on what it is. But if you have a kid, 11 years old, and then you have a 66-year-old guy. The so, additional child. Yeah, yeah. so <laughs> that's really where the challenge is at. Now, I think that some of the things that we went through and m you might be going through, it, it could strain the relationship, right? And mm -hmm. luckily, it's, we've been stronger through our relationship on this. Mm -hmm. But it can't strain it because, you know, you got your dad or mom or, you know, you're going against an in-law and you're dealing with all these different things because, you know, they're looking at what you're doing, critiquing it, criticizing things. Mm -hmm. You're like, hey, man, this is my house. Like, what, what are you talking about? Just leave me alone, right? And they're like, uh, putting their two cents in uh, yeah. where we're, we're not asking for two cents right, or right, five cents right. or even one cent. And I, I think it's just a, a, a natural <laughs> thing for, for some parents to do that because mm -hmm. that's their child still. And even though they might be an adult or you might be an adult, you know, it is what it is. So uh, they might be treating you like this or, you know, just going back to those old times uh, where they think they're right and you're wrong, mm -hmm. okay? And that may necessarily not be the, the issue at this point or the situation. So this is another thing that could hurt. Well, you obviously get some benefits from this too. Mm -hmm. So you, you know that if you have kids, you know, you want your kids to enjoy, you know, your parents too as well, right? Their grandparents. I think that's, that's really key to, to have that. Uh, to know them and know where they come from as far as that goes. Um, you know, I, I guess it's good for that. It's bad in a couple other ways because they might try to be the parent to your child. Mm. Yeah, we've I, actually, that's come across a lot of different things. Even if they're not living in your house, yeah. that they still might do it when you send the yes. little ones over to their home yes. and they're like, oh, that's okay. They can have some Coke. I'm like, yeah. Mm, no, yeah. I, he can't have Coke. No, this is not, this is not okay. Yeah. We said no. I Absolutely. said, yes, I don't care. <laughs> Absolutely. That's kind of how it goes down, you know? So it's, you know, it's so like... It's, it can be a little tough, yeah. like I said, and even when they come visit. So even if you don't have them <laughs> living there with you, you know, it's a week or two weeks. You know, some of my guy friends, they're always, oh, man, the in-laws are coming, man. I'm, I'm going to be dead for like two weeks, man. I'm just, you know, and so it's a little stressful there, too, as well. Different people in the houses, different things, bathroom schedules, I mean, all the way down to food. Showering. Cleanliness, like they leave their stuff around or they may pick up or, you know, listen, they're like on you, OCD ways, um, you know, like, why aren't you doing this or why aren't you doing that? You're like, hey, listen, just leave me alone. Let me be. I'll Let take me care be. Of this, okay? <laughs> uh, you know, I, I, don't, I don't need it. And, and you could have a stressful day at work, right? Um, or something stressful happens in a relationship or in life. And at that point, you're there and they might be stressing you out even more. Mm -hmm. Or they could help you too. 
There, there's there's the flip side to this, there's too. There's a flip side. You so got the in-house babysitter. It's good and bad. That's that, good. And it's everything. You know, um, you know, in our scenario, his dad is awesome at helping clean up a little bit around yeah. the house and helping with laundry and helps with Peter's laundry, yeah. which is very helpful for us. You know, so there are some benefits, you know, to, I think to everything, there's kind of like some benefits. Absolutely. Sometimes there's Absolutely. some, you know, pros and cons, let's call it. Always. Pros and cons. You got to take the good with the bad. Always. This happens with everything. It's never always good. I mean, if it's always good, it might be too, too good. good to be true. <laughs> this is true. <laughs> you gotta, you might want to rethink a couple things. Yeah. Reevaluate, look at things from different angles, because you might have the smoke right covered over your eyes. Mm. Um, you know, but that is, is what it is. And if the pros weigh, definitely outweigh the, the cons, and the cons aren't too bad, and you can live with those cons, mm -hmm. I guess, it'll be a good good situation and a good relationship with you guys, and especially with COVID uh, and the new generations and stuff like that. More than ever, people, you know, as far as uh, parents and children, you know, families living together, whether, mm -hmm. you know, whether it's bigger families or littler families. Because they couldn't afford to C Can't afford it, bring, bring their things together. You know, obviously people were sick because of COVID. People were affected job-wise because of COVID. Um, so it's just something that people are dealing with. Mm -hmm. um, and this is pretty common in a lot of cultures, too, around the world. Mm -hmm. So, like, Japan's like that, too, as well, where they have the thinking mentality that where the parents take care of the kid growing up, and at that point when they get old, now the kid has to take care of them. Mm -hmm. And that's really how it should be. And a lot of cultures are like that. You know, you take care of your own, you take care of your family. When they get old, you take care of them. You know, you're not just sticking them in a home if you don't need to. Mm -hmm. You know, some people need that medical care, but... Most don't. They want a loving family member that they want to be around and just listen to them talk about their old stories. Right, right, you know, right. You might hear that story a hundred times. <laughs> like, yeah, I know. Yeah, so. yeah, you know, but I mean, there are solutions to this to some degree. So a couple solutions in case you're in this situation, let's just say, because you want a solution, right? You don't always want to be like, oh my gosh, this is a problem. I always tell John if there's a problem, we need a solution. Let's come up with a solution because we can talk about the problem all day long, but if we don't have a solution... That sounds pretty familiar. If we don't have a solution, we won't get very far. Uh, yeah. <laughs> That's my thing. Yeah. <laughs> <Just stop. laughs> don't just complain about it. You can complain about it all day. Talk about doing a solution. What are we going to do to fix it? That's what's going to get you out of it. You're not going to just sit so, there So, you know, if you're in a position where you can get, they make these homes with mother-in-law suites, right? And it's, it's basically still an attachment to the home, but they kind of have their own little space. You know, they got their own little kitchen and they got their own little, and it's still attached to the house. You can still walk into the house. You can go hang out in the living room, all that jazz. So, you know, you got that. Um, also, if you guys don't agree, so I'll give you an example because I love giving examples. Um, this is the best way to do it. Absolutely. So, you know, communication, again, this is not just between each other, but communication across episode. the board. Yeah. I communicate with my employees. I communicate with my child. I communicate with my parents. I, com I communicate with my brother. I communicate with him. You know, that's what you're supposed to do. So communication's key. So if you can communicate, let's just say that in my scenario, you know, in the mornings, I'm really busy. I'm super busy. So this is not the time to ask me about anything or to talk to me about anything or to come into the room and start talking because I'm going to be deaf. Okay. You're not going to, you're not going to get my attention for anything because I am so tied up with work that this is just not the time. So if you can communicate that to the in-law and say, Hey, listen, in the mornings between this time and this time, this is not the time to talk to me about anything. Okay. So don't talk to me <laughs> during this time. And you can say it nicely where they understand, okay, cool. I understand you need to work. Um, but if you communicate like, hey, listen, I don't like this. I don't like that. Please change this. Please change that. You know, little things like that, it can make a big difference, a Absolutely. huge difference. It can make a huge difference. I mean, this is not going to obviously fix everything in the home you know whether you guys take the same shower and then i start complaining to john i don't have any more hot water and i have all this hair to wash what am i gonna do i don't know i can't do this anymore oh my gosh i'll just tell him but like listen do not take a shower until you check with me first okay i'm just kidding <laughs> that would be terrible <laughs> and you know kind of what, what i was thinking about this topic what, you know what really brought up to me was is i was watching you know there's these shows like on tlc like um, living with her mom or whatever it was. Oh my there. gosh, Mama's it's Boy or Mama's something. Boy is yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm in love with the Mama's Boy. Yeah, yeah. So, 
you know, there's different <laughs> ones, and it works on both sides, women and males, too. So it just is what it is. So this is just one thing that we've dealt with that mm-hmm. maybe you're going to deal with or you're dealing with mm-hmm. uh, and just don't know what to do. So we've tried to lay out some different things and approaches for you guys to help you guys out in this situation. <laughs> so hopefully it does, and hopefully everything works out, and you have a great relationship with your mom, dad, in-laws, and everybody's getting along and playing nice with each other. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> anyway you don't have a choice <laughs> yeah. thank you guys for tuning in to another Cupid's Corner we really appreciate all the support we're going to be here for you guys try to answer these questions try to give you guys some awesome good information that you guys can utilize and maybe hopefully make your relationship a strong relationship and a better relationship so I'm John and I'm Sharice and we're signing off from Cupid's Corner thank you guys very much I'll see you next Sunday